working at home, this type of job makes me realize how grateful I am. Less stress, less prep time, sometimes no prep time. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. For those of our friends who are watching right now, we're having another catch up with one of our cyberbackers. And for today, I have Cherise to join us for our interview session. Hi, Cherise. Hi, Cami. Hi, everyone. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. We are so excited to know more about you. And um, the things that you do with with Cyberbacker. So let me start with, um, Mayno, where are you located right now? Can you tell our friends where are you located? Right now, I'm in Cavite. In Cavite. Well, me as well. I'm in Bacoor, Cavite. Oh, <laughs> really? We can, we can catch up in person soon. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, so those are friends who are in Cavite, so we are from Cavite as well. So hi there, and I hope we can catch up soon. We have friends or we have colleagues from Cyberbackers who I have interviewed as well with Craig as well. And of course, uh, you're not in the hot seat. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> so I'll be just asking um, some questions that maybe our friends will be interested with. So, Cha, before you joined Cyberbacker, what is your previous job? I was working in a BPO. Uh, first was a financial account and then the other one was a healthcare account. So, it's a totally different, um, different. thing that we were doing here. Mm -hmm. I see. And prior to joining Cyberbacker, have you had any online job? No, I haven't. This is actually my first this is the first time. Same answered with some with, with some of the cyber backers. It's, it's their first time as well. And me, to be honest, this oh. is my first home based job <laughs> as well. And uh, can you tell us how long have you been with Cyberbacker? Um, I've been with Cyberbacker for more than two years now. Two years, guys. Have you heard that? <laughs> Two years, Chai is already two years with Cyberbacker. And since you mentioned that you're two years now with Cyberbacker, can you share to our friends where the culture that we have here with Cyberbacker? Actually, the culture that we have here is basically we are just a family. Not because we're just saying we're like family. We, <laughs> we chat each other. It's not like that. The culture here actually, I think it started because Craig treated everyone as a family and because uh i think it's how it's the feeling of how grateful we are that we just share it to everyone like uh we support each other regardless mm -hmm. if if we can see each other or not if we know each other or not we do support each other it's a culture wherein um you can ask anyone from cyberbacker you can post any question and someone or people are willing to answer or assist you. We celebrate each other's um, wins if there are issues or problems that Cyberbacker had encountered from the past. We were there for each other. I personally um, can attest to that because I've been through so much. And even if a lot of people that I don't know personally, mm -hmm. They reached out. They were just there, willing to listen. So I think that is the culture of Cyberbacker that I've seen the interviews before. And Cyberbacker really uh, has that same experience. Yeah, same experience. Yeah, same experience. Uh, now, um, how can you describe the leaders that we have? Actually, the leaders that we have... Um, I think, and I can say, uh, the leader is just a title because mm -hmm. they are so easy to approach. You can literally just message them if you need um, assistance on anything, uh, like for for instance, for the headbackers. Mm -hmm. Whenever, whenever there are new tasks that I may have or a new system, if they do not know specifically uh, how to assist me, they will point me to the right person. To, to help me out. For the other um, leaders that we have, 
when we had an issue with PayPal before, there were a lot of people who stood up regardless of what they're going through those days because uh, um, back then there were earthquakes. Maybe they, they are having some personal issues as well. We do not know, but they were there for us. I, I think that is Ms. She that was from Davao. She's in contact with everyone so that our m- money backer, so um, Craig and everyone can just process or pay that day. I mean, those those months and then um as for the other like the growth team and um the career everyone is just working harmoniously they're not boastful of what their positions are they're just there they're humble that's it <laughs> thank you so much for sharing that um cha i know uh well as what you mentioned the, the leaders it, it's just merely title for them because you cannot they're just one chat away literally even craig right yes <laughs> you, can, you can share with him even your your personal life and your what you feel at the moment and he will respond right away despite the busy schedules that they have especially miss sheila um at sheena and the, the rest of the leaders that we have and that's really what we're looking forward to have right in the company where where everyone treat like the same Treats everybody the same. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, given uh, with the two years of stay with Cyber Backer, and especially with this pandemic, Chad, that we do have, or corporate um, companies are starting their online setup, right? So, yeah. with the competition that we have with the online world right now, what makes you stay with Cyber Backer? Aside from the culture, um, basically, in BPO, I've had so much stress. <laughs> Name it. Traffic, um, the prep time, thinking of what to wear. The stress, basically, when you answer 100 or more calls in each day. Like not up calls in a day, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, talking with different persons, with different um, issues, it's really tough. Here, I can say, working at home, you still have to be disciplined because your family are just around you. They need to know their limits. But this type of uh, job makes me realize how grateful I am. Less stress, uh, less prep time. Sometimes no prep time. (laughs) You basically (laughs) just, when your alarm sets off, you wake up, uh, go to the shower real quick, and then log in. There are times with, with the two years of experience or three years uh, at home, maybe you have encountered that moment. <laughs> yes, I did. Uh, those <laughs> days when um, there were like no water supply in my province. Yes, <laughs> yes. So I have no choice. kind of situation, right? But there's yes. no need for us to worry. We can just wear <laughs> comfortable outfits that we have. We can even wear pajamas when we're working from home, right? Yes. <laughs> And um, of course, it's not actually a tough question, but um, a, a lot of people who would like to consider um, applying to Cyberbacker, maybe uh, especially even in, in a different home-based kind of job. I know we're not allowed to say the exact figures because you might treat us burgers <laughs> right after this interview. How can you describe the income that you're receiving with Cyberbacker? When Craig mentioned that when you are receiving more or when you're gaining more, you should not just um, improve your way of living, but also your way of giving. So I can say I'm earning enough because I've improved my way of giving. Not to brag, but um, even with this pandemic, I was able to um, reach out to the community to help. When a lot of people... uh, not really lose their job but because they cannot go to work they're not earning and some of my siblings got affected i actually have um some family members here in cyberbacker and together with them we were able to help our family because of course uh our family business also had to to stop for a while Mm -hmm. what we are receiving was enough to support our family we have a huge family by the way (laughs) wow (laughs) And you're able to support them at times of crisis, especially in times of pandemic. Just like what we're experiencing right now. Yes, but with the help of my my brother and my um, 
sister-in-law because they're also part of cyber backup. It's really the family that Craig wants us to prioritize, especially with the summit that we have, the previous summit that we have. We invite not just us, not just cyber backers, but also our families, right? He, yes. he wants to meet and bond with their family and that's actually the, the best culture that I have experienced so far. And your, your family is always welcome to, to your work in, in the company where you work with. So, okay, thank you. Thank you so much, Cha. So that's it. Imagine imagine the figures that Cha and um, his brother and the sister-in-law is receiving. So there you go, guys. And it's for you, for you to imagine. So, and this is actually my favorite question, Cha. Since you've joined Cyberbacker, what do you like most about Craig, our Cyber Ammo? His totality. <laughs> <laughs> the totality. Yes, the totality. Um, he's generous in every way. Not just financially, mm-hmm. but um, he's generous when it comes to the ideas on how he can grow the Cyberbacker family. Um, the efforts that he exerts, the time. I know that we only have like 24-7, but I can't imagine mm-hmm. how Craig does it. And then um, also how he shared his knowledge not just his knowledge um his tips personal tips uh tips that would help us to grow personally not just not everything is about work personal finances so we improve not just with work with career but also with our personal lives as well mm-hmm Okay, and well, all right. So there you have. There's there's so much answers, so much ideas that Cha was able to share with us, guys. Now, um, before I let you go, Cha, uh, what is the one advice that you can share for our friends who are planning to work from home? Never lose hope. Not everyone gets hired right away. Uh, it's not all the time that you can find the perfect fit for what you want to apply for. Mm-hmm. Um, never lose hope. Just keep a positive mindset and um, always have your goal set. That way, when you go to the interviews or um, answer assessments, you are well motivated. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much, Cha. I know a lot of our friends are watching right now. And um, thank you so much for that inspiration and for that motivation that you've shared with us today. So, there we have it. That's our Cyberbacker chat. So thank you so much uh, for this catch up session with you. <laughs> and for those who are friends who have questions for chat, feel free to comment below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our Cyberbacker YouTube channel. See you on our next catch up. Bye, chat. Bye. Bye, friends. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.